What's up, nerd and nerdettes? It's time for a superpower shorty. This superpower is a splinter off the branch of electricity manipulation. So sit down and get set for underwater lightning manipulation. This similar but still distinct ability allows the user to create, shape, and manipulate electricity with a unique property of flowing through or across water particles without the dangerous reaction the fusion of these two abilities produce. But this works out even better because the increased conductivity with the water particles make the emission of electrical charges and discharges more powerful, like they normally would be, without having to worry about the electricity dispersing indiscriminately across the water. Essentially, this ability allows you to shoot electricity underwater with the same amount of accuracy and the same amount of power as if the electricity and the water were combined without any of the drawbacks. Don't ask me how exactly, but if I had to guess, I'd say something that had to do with the charge of the water matching the charge of the electricity, or maybe not matching it. Maybe it's magical. Maybe it has something to do with fish Jesus. I don't know. But what I do know is that you guys should do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button before this power works like it's normally supposed to and kills us all. But if not, then clicking that share button will help get the word out so they can at least find our bodies. If you like an explanation on its symbolization or info on the power's history and lore, check out my video on its parent superpower, electricity manipulation. You also get to hear my self-analysis of their importance in both world culture and popular culture. The link is in the description. Will it better be? Now with the power of underwater lightning manipulation comes the natural ability to attack with, defend with, or control your or other sources of underwater lightning. Remember, this just applies to the electricity in the water, not the actual water itself. But if you wanted to stretch this ability to include water control, then you could via electric water manipulation. But that's where this ability pretty much ends. Well, I mean, if it sounds like I left out some things, it's because this ability is just a stronger, more eccentric version of electricity manipulation. So if you want more applications to this power, check out my video on electricity manipulation. You can accomplish the same things, just with a visual or stylistic difference. The only weakness I can see for a power like this is the possibility that your lightning won't be as strong as it is in the water, because you know, that's where the underwater part comes from. But the user could also have no immunity to electricity, and thus you might, you know, be affected by your own powers, which would really suck. So, unless you plan on spending the rest of your life underwater, constantly, I mean there's really no point to having a power like this. Electricity manipulation is just better. Thanks for watching. You guys think of any more applications for this power? Jot it down in the comment section. Start a discussion. The index doesn't grow without you. I'll be back with an entirely new power, breakdown, and analysis pretty soon.